Hey everyone, so it's mid-April and uh, we're back fishing on the Fraser again. Finally getting some nice weather, so we've got bar rods out, got some roll bags. Originally, we were gonna fly fish for these uh, trout and char in the Fraser because there's lots of juvenile salmon moving downstream right now and uh, if you cast out a fry pattern, usually you can get them pretty close to the shallow water. But fresher has started, water's really muddy, if you look down there, Visibility is down to less than a foot, so fly fishing is not really an option right now. Instead, we're using just row bags, row chunks, casting out, letting it sit on the bottom, and uh, you just wait for those tap taps. Um, usually, there's lots of sculpins around, so uh, that's one bad thing about fishing with row bags. Um, you tend to have a lot of uh, what, what some may call garbage fish, small fish, biting on the row. But uh, occasionally you get this really big bite, you know, the whole rock gets pulled down and that's when you know there's a bull trout, a cutthroat trout on the end of the line. So this is the middle arm of the Fraser River. We're actually fishing on the north side of Richmond. Um, and uh, right in front of me you can see this, this YVR, this Vancouver Airport. You can see planes taking off uh, every couple minutes or so. And you've got the nice, beautiful North Shore mountains in the background as well. It's a really nice looking area, but you can hear the cars going by, so it's still an urban fishery. Uh, but you know, it's 5-10 minutes drive from my house and uh, it's, it's actually quite enjoyable. That's a bull Wow, I thought that was a sculpin, but it's no sculpin. That's a pretty big fish. What is that? Jeez. came out just in time. We've been getting all these tap 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 and then we thought, you know, scalpins, right? But all of a sudden the rod just went down and I was fast enough to grab it. And this came up. So let's take a look. There it is. Nice healthy looking bull trout. See how broad that body is? Really wide girth, so that's a feeder fish that has been overwintering in the tidal in the uh, tidal yeah. Fraser, the estuary area. So let's let it go. Whew. That was quite a thrill. Just before the sun goes behind the clouds, we've got another half an hour left before it gets dark. So. Yeah, not pretty good day after all. Well, that was a thrilling fight, and looks like it's going to be the only fish that we're getting today. Um, been fishing for another half an hour, and we've just been getting sculpin bites. Um, haven't been getting another one of those big pull down. 
again. So as you can see, that fish before actually fought pretty hard. It ran like a salmon. What I find is that bull trout in springtime on the Fraser River actually fight the hardest because they're well fed, uh, really healthy, and uh, it's one, one of the best game fish I like to uh, target around this area. So in our last video blog, I mentioned that we're doing some projects with the Freshwater Fishery Society of BC right now. And two of those videos are actually up on the YouTube channel now. So if you go to gofishbc.com uh, or go to go on YouTube and just type in gofishbc and your, the channel will show up. The first two videos are on Rice Lake and Cornwall Lake in the Vancouver area. And uh, I'll put those links at the end of the video as well so you can just click on them and go watch them. For more information on fishing in British Columbia, please check out our website at www.fishingwithrut.com and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment if you have any ideas or feedbacks. We always love to hear from you. So good luck fishing!